Hello, hockey fans. Well, I finally got my act together. Sorry about last week. I know I said I was going to do this last week, but here we go. Week six of the National Hockey League finds the Montreal Canadiens in first place with 30 points, 6-3-1 and in their last 10, won their last game. Tampa has a four-game winning streak, 7-2-1 and in their last game, second place with 25 points. And in third place in their division, the Boston Bruins, 22 points, never write them off. 7-3-0, and 1-1. Even though they keep giving away players, they still find a way to win. New York Rangers, 27 points, 7-2-1, and one, lost their last two. And Mika Zibanejad for four to six weeks. He broke his... It was so ugly to watch that last night. He just slammed into the boards like that. Trying to play defensive. Pittsburgh Penguins, 25 points, 6-2-2, two two, lost their last game. Washington Capitals, 24 points, 6-3-1, lost their last game. Yeah, that was a weird loss. Columbus Blue Jackets have won four games, 8-1-1 one one in their last 10, 22 points. They had a terrible start to the season. That's why their first wild card with a Nate one and one record. New Jersey Devils, 21 points, 6-3 and 1, lost their last two. Ottawa Sanders, now there's three teams with 21 points here. Ottawa Sanders, uh, ninth place out of the playoffs, 21 points, 5-4 and 1, lost their last two. Florida Panthers are catching up, won their last two games, 6-4 and 0, 21 points. Toronto Maple Leafs, 19 points. Philadelphia Flyers, 19 points. Toronto, 6-4-0, lost their last game. Philadelphia, 5-3-2, lost their last game. Carolina Hurricanes, 18 points. 5-3-2, won their last four. Detroit Red Wings, is this the year they don't make the playoffs? I'm not going to speculate because you can never do that with this team. Mind you, 17 points, 2-7-1, lost their last four games. Not doing well at all. Buffalo Sabres, kind of expected, but you thought they'd do better. 3-5-2, and two, won their last game, 16 points. New York Islanders, 14 points, 2-4-4, four and four, lost their last four. I don't know what to do with the Islanders. And now for the Western Conference. Surprise, surprise, Chicago Blackhawks, first place, 28 points. 8-1-1 one one in their last 10, won their last two. St. Louis Blues, 23 points, 5-4-1 in their last 10, won their last three. And the Winnipeg Jets have lost three, 5-4-1 in their last 10, 20 points. Anaheim Ducks, 21 points, 6-3-1, lost their last game. Edmonton Oilers, 21 points, 3-6-1, won their last game. Los Angeles Kings, 21 points, 6-3 and 1-1-3. Minnesota Wild, 19 points, 5-5 five, five and 0, oh, lost one. And the San Jose Sharks, 19 points, 4-5 and 1, lost their last three. Dallas Stars, 19 points, 4-3 three and 3, lost one. Nashville Predators, 17 points, 5-3 and 2, lost one. Calgary Flames, 17 points, 4-6 and 0, oh, 1-1. One, one. Colorado Avalanche, when is Colorado going to turn the corner here? They have been mediocre for so long now. 16 points, 4-6-0, and 1-1. Vancouver Canucks, they're in transition. 16 points, 3-6-1, and one, lost their last three. I think this might be the year they decide to tear it all down. And the Arizona Coyotes, 4-4-2, four, four, 14 points, won their last game. That's expected. They're in full rebuild mode, and... There's actually a rumor that there might be a new arena coming to the Arizona Coyotes, which will put them more in the city than where they are right now. That's it for this week, people. See you next week.